So we're talking about above and below. In a way, it's a handy way to think of things because our world is made that way, right? There's where we stand on Earth and there is what looks like it's above us from space that kind of loses meaning, right? You know, if you, if you were an astronaut circling the Earth, um, it's hard to say where up and down are. It's more like it's all around a globe. But still, from, from our standpoint, it looks like up and down. And so it's a handy way to talk about something, talk about higher and lower. Sometimes it works better if we talk about in and out, right? It's within us. These are all issues of preposition. Perhaps you know the Hermetic tradition saying, um, as above, so below. As above, so below. Interesting. Interesting. So think of the opposite of that. What's above is different than what's below. What, why does it matter? Why does it matter to have a conception of reality that says, as above, so below, and as below, so, so above, as opposed to, it's different up there. Now, put in religious terms, God operates by different rules. He's got powers and abilities that are just have no relationship to what's happening for us. What's happening in heaven is just its own thing. And we're not, we have no basis to understand it or participate in it. So, if you're thinking of it in terms of um, as above, so below, I suppose with the caveat that we may or may not be experiencing the reality of that, but still, if that's your understanding of what's real, then what's happening up there at higher levels of reality is the same as happening here except at a different frequency. We can't what, understand it in the sense of uh, looking at the form of it. But if there's life here, there's life there. If there's presence here for us, there's human presence, presence of the soul, there's presence there, it's no different. If there's love here, or at least the potential of it, the power of love moving through people, there's love there. If there's creativity here and the, the potential for us to be creative, there's creativity there. The joy of creation. As above, so below. So how, how about this? Um, there's thought here, and there's thought there. Put it this way. We're thinking. God's thinking. Uh, is that revolutionary? Actually, it isn't. Actually, it isn't. What part does God's thinking, God's thoughts, the creator's thoughts, play in creation? And then what's our opportunity to Think in a way that participates in that facet of creation. Last week, I was speaking about, speaking about being courageous enough to think the thought, the creative thought. And if we're not willing to think the creative thought, we're just in the same old rut that we've always been in. 
And we may be worrying about our lives. We may be anxious about our lives. We may be thinking anxious thoughts, worried thoughts, but that's not the same as thinking a, a creative thought. 